Hello my friends, welcome back to Symphony of the Night. I have just moved myself into the Olrox's quarters area um, before starting this video. That's just because it's the nearest warp room to our old friend, the clock room. Um, oh god. Blade. Is that Blade? As in the badass vampire hunter Blade. And also, what the fuck is wrong with me? Why can't I take this guy out? Um, okay. There's a blade and a hammer in here, as I recall. Yeah, there's a hammer. Ow. Well, screw you, frankly. Um, now, let me just see here. Yeah. So I'm going to just go and drop a save um, at the nearest save room to the clock room. We... In the previous episode, if you recall, we got um, the gold and silver rings, and that allowed us to read a secret message inscribed over the two rings, which basically just says, where in clock room. So it doesn't take Sherlock Holmes to deduce what we need to do with those two rings. Um, now, we can also see the bad ending by fighting Richter um, without doing what we will get from doing the, the ring puzzle. Uh, I haven't forgot about that. We will be doing that. Okay, here we are back in the clock room. Um, yeah, I will just quickly go over here and drop a save in the marble gallery because it's the closest place. And I hate you so very much, Flea Man. Yes, I do. That's right, you. Now. do I am really getting into this S-stock. Okay, so. Well, it's no good for those, is it? <laughs> uh, the Ouija tables are uh, a little bit of a problem when you can't do a ducking attack. It's the problem with the unique animation of the S-stock. It's, it's like, it's good and bad at the same time. I can't say that it's particularly amazing overall, but the weapon itself is very good. And the thrust has such a far reach, as you can see. Um, but it kind of makes up for it, and I'm enjoying using it, at least for now. In regard to these flea men, it's just a case of timing them so that they jump into the S-Doc blade. <laughs> um, anyway, so, here we go. Silver ring. Gold ring. Time's going backwards. There we go, and we get a new area here. Um, this is overall the most important area in the game in terms of you know story progression and things like that. It's an area that we'll come back to more than once, or in more than one context. Um, this lift here, we'll just sort of check. Ah, excellent, excellent stuff. I like it a lot. We'll just pop another save here before we go down. So I didn't actually need to save in the Marble Gallery, but you know, like I say, life insurance, always good. Um, there is going to be a boss battle down here, and we'll see how we get on with it. Now what this area is is quite strange. Um, it's basically this pyramid, it's like occult pyramid. Um, which we can go around all different sides of, as you can see, and we go in from the bottom. Alucard? That voice. Maria? I'm sorry. You were right. He is with the enemy. Richter Belmont, in league with Dracula. He must be under someone else's control. We can't hurt him, whatever we do. 
But he must be stopped. Yes, but can you? Then for all our sakes, show me that you will. Yes, so now we have to fight Maria, um, which is a bit weird. But as you can see, um, Maria has uh, the power of lots of different kinds of animals. Um, it kind of gives you a bit of a, a preview as to what she's like to play as, because rather than having different equipment and abilities, uh, all her different moves... Oh, good god. That's a pretty rough move there. Um, all her different abilities are just different animals. The dragon, the cat, uh, different things. Um, okay, we got her. You're stronger than I am. You can save Richter. Will you? Please? I can't promise that, but I will stop him. If it must be that way. Here, I found these. Take them. And these are? If you wear them, you can see beyond illusions. Thank you. I go to find Richter. Stay and pray for him. Alright, sweet. I'm um, just wondering... Can we speak to her again? Nope, she's just chilling. Alright, we got the holy glasses, which is the basically the item that we need to prevent the bad ending. Um, so now, I can go and uh, continue with the story. Um, but there's a couple of places, first of all, that I want to go just to uncover the the last few bits of the map that we haven't seen. This probably isn't going to be terribly exciting, but uh, we will fight Richter in this episode, so don't worry about that. And I guess I'll just drop a save again here. The Holy Glasses is a headwear item that we equip. So we can still get the bad ending with if we don't equip them, if that makes sense. Um, anyway, we'll go back into the clock room here. And let's see, yes, yeah, so just over here in the Marble Gallery, there should be a place we haven't been through yet. I think I may actually have been there early on in the playthrough and been killed and then decided not to go back. It was the place with the Cthulhu enemy. Um, and the guy with the giant ball and chain. But we uh, should be very over-leveled for it now, so we'll check it out. Uh, yeah, down here. Eh. There we go, Slinger. Hate those guys. Seems to be maxed out on hearts as well, so that's sweet. As a peach, I think we've seen everything in this room. Oh yes, the uh, marionettes. I like how uh, they're a, a female um, puppet that's called Marionette. I don't know if that's an intentional thing, but I see that as like a bit of a pun. Marionette, of course, being another word for puppet, and these being female, and Marion being a girl's name. Spirit Orb. Hmm. Shows enemy damage. Oh, wow. I've <laughs> gone through the whole game so far without grabbing that thing. Cool. So that shows... I guess the damage that we inflict upon enemies, does it? Now this area just links back to um, like the early part of the world map. And there is like a Cthulhu thing here, I think it's called. Oh, there's the Plate Lord. Yeah, you see it, it uh, shows the damage that we inflict upon enemies including critical hits. So it's good to know that stuff. So that was worth coming down here for that I guess. And, um, yeah, this just sort of zigzags down to near the start of the game. Um, but we can go back to where uh, Alucard first entered the castle and see if there's anything there, because now we have the form of that we can fly up above the entrance. I can't remember if there is anything. Probably isn't, but, again, for the sake of uh, buffing our armour up, we need to uncover as much of the map as we can.
Here he is. Yeah, Cthulhu, not Cthulhu. <laughs> huh. Well, he wasted me last time, so it's good to come back and get revenge. And avenge my own death. Yeah, so this just links back through an area transition. Ah, oh, that's how we get there. <laughs> Shield potion. Um, so yeah, that comes back to the first warp room. And while we're here, just going to investigate... over this way because it looks like there's another room up into the right of here. And so, we'll just check that out quickly. Oh, what is it this again? Did I not? I'm sure I've been in here. Oh, right. So, yeah. Um... Yeah, it looks like we have to go a bit further and then down to that cannon. I guess. I can't remember exactly how you do that. But I do remember thinking that when I played the Bloodstained demo, that the cannon item... Oh, hello. Not being up here. Oh, yes. This is a room where you can just choose between the different um, upgrades that you want. And? Didn't mean to do that. But this... Ah, Skill of Wolf. Another relic. What's skill of wolf? Special move as wolf. Nice. I think that might be the dashing charge thing. Anyway, it's good to have it. Um, so, if we carry on upwards, we can hopefully make our way round to the other side of where that cannon is. And I remember when I played the Bloodstained demo, thinking that the cannons on the ship in that demo... Um, did remind me of this, that particular canon in Symphony of the Night. Um, again, I may just be finding threads in, in of continuity in between two completely unrelated game worlds. Um, but, you know, what can I say? That's just how my mind works. So, oh, no, not here. To go around. Terrific. Remember when these guys were actually uh, dangerous to, to be around. So, yeah, up here. I think this was where the first boss was. Yeah, this is the very first boss room. Remember the lizard and the mini Nosferatu? was in this room. We haven't been up to the top of here yet because we haven't been able to get high enough. Now we can. And there is... Bat card. Bat familiar by any chance? Yes it is. Good to have it. Probably won't use it, but good to have it. So it's nice just to go around and clean up some of this stuff that we haven't uh, done before. And of course, it's always worth checking. Oh, definitely put that on. Uh, yes, our defense with the walk armor has gone up by one again, so... This is all worth it just for that, if nothing else. Um, so along here and down, apparently... Should go somewhere. Um, yeah. Okay. We don't, we can't get to, uh, through these little side passages. But still, let's try this. Sunglasses. Nice. Alucard can be a cool, sexy vampire, like from Lost Boys or Twilight or whatever. In fact, no, he's not from Twilight. Twilight can fuck off. Lost Boys is alright though. Um, 
connect, so does this connect back to the cannon? I'm assuming it's going to. Yes, it does. Boom. Open that shortcut. Done. Now, um, just very quickly, looks like there's one little bit up the top of here. I guess we'll try that. And then, um, we should be nearly done with cleanup at this point, and then we can go and do Richter, and I'll try the bad ending. We can just save at the Castle Keep, and I'll try. I'll probably end this episode with the bad ending, and then at the start of the next episode, we can um, do the good ending and carry on the game. Yeah. So, not too far away. Might also be worth going back to the long library and um, stucking up on some potions, but I don't think we'll need them for Richter because we're probably quite over leveled by now. I don't think he's going to be too much of a problem. But bear in mind, for the first time I played this when I was. I think I was about 11 years old when this came out. And uh, when I first played it on the original PlayStation, I thought that Richter was the final boss. Because this was long before the days of... Well, not long before, but this was kind of bef in the very early days of things like uh, game FAQs and stuff. And it was it was more difficult to unlock the secrets of a game um, if you weren't sure about how to do anything, you know? Um, there is a place just up and to the left of me that we haven't fully explored yet by the looks of it as well. So, could this is the way to the clock room, so we could just quickly go back around that way, and then I'll do Richter. Promise I'll do Richter after that. Uh, yeah. So this just should take us through the clock room and into Olrox's quarters that way. I'll probably save it at some point as well, as I've done quite a lot <laughs> since I last did. Maxed out on hearts, don't really need any... Uh, more money at this point, so I'm just gonna head straight through. Um, yeah, all the way to the right into the clock room. Boop. Oh, we've got a Takemitsu. Boop. Guess the flea men are good for something. Um, and it was up into the left, into Old Rock's place. That's right, yep, it is. Um, not too far from a save room, so we'll just hope these Skellerangs don't fuck me up too much. Well, I'm taking one damage now, so that's something. Once you get um, leveled over a certain point, compared to the strength of an enemy that you're fighting, everything, every attack it does will just deal one damage, um, which is quite nice, I suppose. Um, okay, let's go to the save room and then we'll see. Yeah. That should be on our way. Oh, it's the Colosseum. Okay. So it looks like we didn't fully explore that when we went to get the... Form of Mist, was it, that we got from here? I think it was. And we fought the uh, Werewolf and the Minotaur in Richter's um, Gladiator Arena, which is a really cool fight. I love how he's like sat on the throne in the background. Uh, so, up and left. The Blade Masters, I remember, can be a little annoying, so we need to be a bit careful of them, but not, not so much. Um, yeah, over the top. Wait, hang on. No, we can get through this way. 
and into that big room. This is where we fought them. There's Richter's throne there. Okay. And I think it's just down here. Yeah, so just across... Um, no, not the wolf. That. Just across here there was a little bit we didn't unveil. Oh, Armor Lord, that'll be why. more distance. Alright, not too hard. That appears to be that. Yeah. And then there was just a room down into the left here. Here we go. Ah, and again, fairly evident why. Oh my god. What's that? Shield rod. Ah, that is a so somewhat of a game-breaking item as well. Um, which we'll take a look at in a moment. Ah. Okay. Um, so, basically, uh, what this does is it like powers up. It, it gives you um, a good sort of offensive combo of weapon and shield, and you use it in combination with like the Alucard shield, which I don't think we've actually got. Um, oh no, I think you get that in the next section of the game. But, um, basically it, it gives you uh, an item that means, well, it gives you a combination of equipment that means you can um, do stupid amounts of damage with, um, by not being very highly leveled, so it's it's essential item for speedrunners because it means they don't have to grind Alucard up to being strong. Um, they can just bastard. It means it just allows you to um, be able to deal very high damage to the later bosses of the game without being a high level. So, yeah, essential for speedrunning. And we'll just, um... Oh god, <laughs> it's a lovely room of death. They're still doing an absolute shitwad of damage, those. Um... But, we just make our way back to the save room, and then out of this area. And we should be able to go and take Richter. Okay, so... Just need to go back to this warp room, warp to the castle keep, and that's it. There we go, and yeah, I'll, so like I say, I'll get the bad ending, we can watch that, and then I will end it there, and the next episode we will go and um, take on the rest of the game. Because um, like, there is still quite a fair amount of content after... Richter. Um, but yeah, so I'll end the episode after the after Richter and uh, then I will go and do the washing up. What fun. Somewhat of an anti-climax to play uh, Symphony of the Night and then do the washing up, but what can I say? It needs must when faced with the potential wrath of your girlfriend discovering that you have not done the washing up. Probably better that I just do it before she gets home. Here we go. Oh, 
through the keyhole. The neon keyhole. Um, gonna have to do this a few times, I think. Yeah. One more. There we go. Now we'll just pop a save up here and see what we can do about Richter Belmont, the lord of this castle. And yes, he is the lord of this castle. This castle is ruled by Richter. There we go, we'll drop a save here. 276 HP and the S stock should be sufficient, I'm hoping. Um, in the second phase of the battle, Richter gets the ability to deal a, a shit ton of damage to you that's really, really difficult to avoid. Um, but as we should be able to tank it as long as we don't take too much damage in the first phase. Hey, we'll find out. Here we go. I've been waiting for you. Answer me. Why is a Belmont planning to resurrect Count Dracula? Dracula rises once a century. One chance for each Belmont to shine. And then we're finished. Forgotten. If I bring him back now, the battle can last for eternity. Oh god. I forgot about that. <laughs> Yeah, we need to not be being hit by that. Right, so he has a, a load of items, but being not being able to do the um, the, the ground attack by the S dock. Here we go. My greatest attack. This is phase two, and he makes it makes it rain, 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 makes it rain, and uh, as you can see, it just damages you a whole fuckload. Um, and he also has this, like, AoE lightning attack. Oh, but we got him. It's over, Belmont. So, the war between humans and vampires finally ends here. What need for the shepherd when the wolves have all gone, huh? My time. It's over now. So you made it. Alucard, where's Richter? I'm sorry. Thank you for stopping him. This must have been his fate somehow. Are your travels over then? No, not until I learn what brought him here, what made him. I understand. Heaven guide you, Maria. Farewell. Goodbye, Alucard. Heaven guide you too. Heaven guide you too. Um, so there you go. That's now. What's interesting to point out here actually is that there is there is more than one bad ending. Uh, we got that scene there with um, Alucard and Maria saying goodbye to each other. We got that because. We already um, saw the scenes with Maria where 
she gave us the holy glasses and also the scene where we got the um, other ring past the spike breaker corridor. If we had defeated Richter without having those scenes play out first, then the scene there on the side of the cliff overlooking Castlevania is completely different. It's just Alucard on his own um, and he looks out at Castlevania and he muses um, basically about how he's going to leave the world of humans and never return. And so it would have been nice if we'd have done that as well, but it's not really that exciting to be honest. So that is one ending. Now, the ending that I was just talking about where Alucard is alone, that's the first ending that I saw when I first played the game. I thought that was legitimately the end of the game and I didn't really understand the story. Um, but when Richter is defeated and he says, oh, the war between humans and vampires is an end, what he means is that by his death, it's the end of the Belmont bloodline and the Belmonts are the ones who have always risen up to stop Dracula over the centuries. Without there being a Belmont, um, Dracula is basically unchallenged and so the vampires win, essentially. Now, I didn't understand that aspect of the story, I just thought that, like, Richter was possessed by Dracula or something like that and that was, that made him the final boss. Um, but more we can make more sense of that in the following episodes when we move um, into the quote-unquote good ending so what we have to do is do that fight with Richter again but wearing the holy glasses and it will be different and uh, so we will see how it's different in the start of the next episode when I do it that way around um, I'm going to end this one here though, thank you very much for watching it, I hope you enjoyed it, if you did do drop, drop me a like, uh, if that does help me etc, and I will see you next time for more Symphony of the Night, take care guys.